Bonjour mon ami, ça va Je m'appelle Alex et bienvenue à Montréal, la capitale de la belle province, Québec. What's going on everybody? I'm Alex and welcome to the capital of Quebec, Montreal. In this video, I'll be sharing with you all of my essential travel experiences for this awesome city. So, let's get into it. Montreal has a long history, with human habitation stretching back over 8,000 years. Originally, the island and surrounding areas were the territory of the Iroquois, but the modern city of Montreal began when a French colonial fur trading settlement named Ville-Marie was built on the island in 1642. That name would soon be replaced by Montreal, an abbreviation of Mont-Royal, the mountain that backs up against the city. Even though Montreal and all of Quebec would become part of the British Empire after France ceded the territory in the Treaty of Paris in 1763, the French language is still the primary language of the province and the city. And while Montreal is quite ethnically and culturally diverse, the French culture is still felt in almost every aspect of life. And this is why Montreal is such a wonderful place to visit. It's like a quick trip to France, but only a one and a half hour flight from New York City. I've had the pleasure of traveling extensively in Quebec and it remains one of my favorite North American destinations. But in this video, I'll be sharing all of my best tips for your upcoming visit to Montreal. By no means is this guide going to have absolutely everything to do in Montreal, so please feel free to share your tips in the comment section and hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. Right, well if you're anything like me, an early bird who likes to make the most of my time during my travels, then breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And much like a hobbit, I often have two of them. That's why my first suggestion is to grab a quick bite at St. Viateur Bagel, a famous local bagel bakery that's been turning out bagels since 1957. They do it a bit differently here in Montreal from your typical New York bagel, and I've heard there may be a bit of a rivalry. Hey. Bagels are a thing of personal preference, okay? And you can't knock it until you try it. If you've had both, then tell me in the comment section which you prefer, Montreal or New York. We don't want to offend the Canadians out there. Now, if the bagel doesn't hit the spot and you need a more substantial breakfast, head across town to the beautiful Hotel Mount Stephon. Inside this restored historic neo-renaissance mansion is the Bar George, a swinging little bar in the evening, but a quality restaurant that serves a breakfast that will leave you wishing you could eat it every single day. After your satiating meal, it's time to burn some calories and explore the city. On your way up to Mont Royal, make sure you do a little detour through McGill University. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got all these old castle looking Hogwarts style buildings, and it's a nice way to make your way up to Mont Royal. The Parc du Mont Royal is an incredible slice of nature in the heart of the city. No trip to Montreal would be complete without climbing Mont Royal, the mountain in the middle of the city. That is easier said than done because there's a lot of stairs to the top. Sprawling over 692 acres, it is the perfect place to go for a hike, ride a bicycle, or get the best panoramic view of the city. The viewpoint at the top is also a great spot for photography, so if you need that Instagram selfie, this is the place to get it. But the park is hiding lots more sights to see, so don't rush. In fact, while you're at it, make sure you enjoy the fine French art of flâner, or the art of doing nothing. Take a moment in the park and just relax. Maybe do a little people watching. That's what it's all about. All right, well, we have hopped on bicycles and we've made our way a little bit further down the Boulevard Saint Laurent, which is kind of like the hip street. Lots of little boutiques and little restaurants. Known as Le Main, or the Main Street, 
This boulevard runs for over 11 kilometers in a north-south direction and was historically a street that divided Montreal between the English-speaking and French-speaking populations. In between, many different immigrant communities took up residence, with a bustling Chinatown as well as a Jewish quarter whose influence on the local food scene has definitely left its mark. One of the places we're going now for a little bit of lunch is a famous spot. It's an establishment here and it's called Schwartz's Deli. It's an old school Jewish deli doing smoked meats, Montreal smoked meats. I know they're famous, I don't know much more about it, so we're gonna go give it a shot, try some Montreal smoked meats, let's go. Montreal smoked meats are a culinary icon brought over from Eastern European Jewish immigrants at the turn of the 20th century, whole beef, brisket prepared in the kosher style is brined up to two weeks in a spice mix smoked steamed and stacked high on light rye with a dash of yellow mustard the end result is simply delicious here we are we're at the famous schwartz deli so this is their famous smoked meat sandwich it's brisket this is a jewish kosher style deli the brisket has been marinated for 10 days, then smoked for 10 hours, and then steamed for an additional four hours. On a busy day, they sell more than one to two tons of meat here. This place has been approved by many celebrities, including William Shatner and Celine Dion, so let's see how it goes. Mm. Mm, very good. best way to get around Montreal is definitely by bicycle. It's the most affordable way to cover distance. Most of the city's flat, so it's not like you're going up and down a lot of hills. And there are plenty of bicycle pathways all along the roads. So it's a good way to get around. You can download an app called BC, B-I-X-I, or Bixi, I'm, I think it's BC. And uh, that's definitely the cheapest, most affordable, and most practical way to get around the city. Just had a little moment of deja vu. In this parking lot, I was here six years ago, um, and a lot of it has changed. All of these buildings are kind of new over here, but all these walls are painted with street art, and the street art is definitely different. It's a huge right there. That was not here last time. It's really cool. It's nice to come back, have a little deja vu, see some art, feel cultured. It's all part of the experience here in Montreal. Now, whether you're into street art, fine art, or architecture, there's a lot of artistic expression happening in this city. So make your way down to the St. Lawrence Riverfront and have a stroll back in time in old Montreal, specifically St. Paul Street where cobblestone streets weave past historic graystone buildings, showcasing quirky boutiques, cafes, as well as high quality restaurants and nightlife in the evening. I could easily spend a whole day just exploring the Centreville. So after perusing Old Montreal, make sure you head down to the waterfront at the Old Port. It's the perfect place for a walk, jog, or a bike ride. And while you're at it, ride your bike out to the beautiful island Parc Jean Japeau on the St. Helens Island. If you're interested, the biosphere there is definitely worth checking out, even only from the outside. If you want more sightseeing, then check out St. Joseph's Oratory of Mount Royal, a Catholic basilica that's the largest church in Canada and one of the largest church domes in the world. It alone draws more than 2 million visitors and pilgrims annually, so it's definitely worth checking out. Plus, it's free. With all that sightseeing, you're definitely going to work up an appetite. So why not eat like the locals? It's a Sunday and we've decided to come to the Jean Talon Market located in the Little Italy neighborhood of Montreal. 
It's uh, one of the biggest open air markets in North America. It's been open for well over 100 years and it's just a great way to get a local feel of life in Montreal. Beautiful day, so we do a little bit of shopping and some eating and it's a good move. I love exploring local farmers markets anywhere I travel for a few different reasons. First and foremost, your tourism dollars support local small-scale farmers who often grow organically and use fewer resources to get their products to market. Additionally, it's a great way to get a feel and taste of the ingredients that locals use in their day-to-day -day cuisine. And food is one of the most tangible ways to experience culture. There really is so much more to see and do here in Montreal and in Quebec, and I wish I had more time to explore it on this trip. But to be honest, I was in town for a wedding and squeezed this video into my downtime between the rehearsal dinner and the ceremony. So if you want more information about Montreal and Quebec in general, then check out these video series I shot a few years back. I'll link them in the description of this video. All right, friends, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment with your travel experiences, your recommendations down there in the comment section. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. We'll see you in the next video. Peace, au revoir.